Well, a group of researchers from UBC believes that there could be a new population of killer whales in the northeastern Pacific. Now, they've been watching a group of orcas hunting marine mammals, including sperm whales, in the open ocean off California and Oregon. And they believe that 49 orcas could belong to a subpopulation of transient killer whales or a unique oceanic population. And joining us now is UBC professor of zoology, Andrew Treitz, is with us. He's co-authored a study with seven others looking at this group of orcas. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, Andrew, just how how groundbreaking or I guess how how ocean shaking is this study? Um, I think each time someone goes out to the open ocean, uh, looks out and discovers something that we hadn't noticed before, I, I think each one of those is groundbreaking. It makes us aware that there's more out there than what we have ever truly appreciated. All right. And, and so what have we been able, I mean, first of all, we're talking about 49 individuals in this group. Is that right? Um, we're up to 49, but like with all of these newly uh, discovered populations, as more pictures come in, the numbers will go up until eventually hits a plateau. Um, and so since um, we put this together, we have heard and, and have become aware of a few more individuals. We don't know where it's going to top off at. Um, but it could well be 100 or perhaps even 200. Wow. Well, the problem is that it's so far offshore that very few researchers ever go there. And if people have gone out and seen killer whales, they probably haven't been equipped with cameras to turn in pictures. We're hoping that by putting this out and making people aware that every picture is helpful, and particularly if you're, if you're out in, in bodies of water where very few people go, and that's true here in BC as well, we have very uh, few opportunities to go way, way, way offshore to see exactly what's there. Well, and that's what I'm curious about because we curious about rather, you know, we said California and Oregon. Um, are they coming as far north as offshore British Columbia? Uh, who knows? It's possible <laughs> that they, they, they may well be restricted further south. But, you know, I'd say that, you know, with killer whales, it's a species that fascinates the entire world. Yeah. And it's in part because I think they share some of the characteristics that we do in terms of some of the family groupings, the bonds between mothers and calves, um, social structures, movements, even their some of the fussiness they have in terms of their diets. So, but as we even spend time getting to better know the ones that we think we know already, we're still making new discoveries. And I think it just points to how much more we still have to learn about killer whales and the oceans and why it's so important that we protect them. And so what is this particular group then contributing to what we do know about killer whales? Uh, well, I, th I think it's another piece of the killer whale puzzle in the sense that as we look around the world, we see these unique populations that, uh, you know, both have got unique social structures, unique diets, dialects, behaviors. Uh, so just a piece of this mosaic and, and the diversity of killer whales that, that lives there. And it's one of the populations that um, we're, has just been introduced to us. We're just getting to know it. And it's going to take time before we can feel that we truly do understand them uh, and know how they fit into the bigger picture of ecosystem health and biodiversity. All right. And so where does the research go now? Uh, well, uh, in terms of this population, it's probably going to, well, this has taken uh, 24 years to put this simple little story together. And so we're just putting out there as a hypothesis and alerting people that there's something unique about this group. Um, hopefully, we're going to see other pictures come in, and uh, there will be a requirement to require to obtain some DNA samples, uh, more observations, more notes. But I think it's it's a start of establishing um, and again increasing our understanding of how much we still have to learn about killer whales and the oceans. Andrew, thank you so much for taking the time with us this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Take care. That is Andrew Treitz, who is a professor of zoology at the University of British Columbia. Come back.